All right, so we're gonna go back in time a little bit here real quick. Uh, there's been enough comments and questions about the uh, aftermarket reed cage for the Home Light Super XL that uh, we're gonna put, or I'm gonna put up a video that I recorded it, but I never posted it. So I'm, I've, I decided that uh, there's been enough questions that I'm gonna go ahead and post it now. Alrighty, it should, uh, it should help with some of the questions. Alrighty, thanks. This has to do with reeds. I've been trying to figure out a way to replace reeds to a more modern style. So I found something that might work. I have not tested it yet, you know what I mean? Let me show you what I'm looking at here. Uh, alrighty, let me show you. We'll, we'll, we'll just kind of go over this together. There, we'll go with that. So these are the reeds after out of a regular old uh, Home Light Super XL Auto. Now I found this aftermarket reed cage online. Okay, this is not made for our saws, but I was wondering if maybe these could be made to work. All right, let's kind of go over the differences here because there are some differences. This one is notched out because there's a screw that needs clearance here. All right, this one does not have the notch. And also the thicknesses, one is a little bit thicker than the other. These are the first things I've noticed. Now I'm gonna pull this off, because I haven't done this yet. Let's look at the actual reeds themselves. Feels like plastic, but it's not normal plastic. It has some sort of like a, almost like a carbon fiber look to it. I doubt you're gonna be able to see it. Let's compare it to a factory home light reed. Here's for factory style reed. Here's the aftermarket reed. Very similar. Let's lay them over top of each other and see what happens. So the holes are a perfect match, it appears to be. The aftermarket one seems to be just a smidge wider, which I don't think that'll hurt anything. Just a smidge. Can you tell the difference? Just a smidge bigger. Um, I don't have a way of testing how stiff it is. It feels to be about the same. Actually, it might be just a smidge stiffer. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit stiffer. Let's see if the reed itself, let's see how it fits on a factory reed block. The other ones are falling off. Let me get them off. So there, you can see how it fits on the, the factory block. It fits nice. It doesn't overhang. It goes right to the end, but it doesn't overhang. All right. I think that'd be a viable replacement if you just went with reeds. If you needed to. But I'm going to show you something. Here's the aftermarket reed block. There's differences here. See the tip? See the tip of this one? Look inside. It's set to channel the air. It's got like a little pyramid in the center to help channel the air towards the edge. You see that? 
So I'm thinking this. I mean, these two are pretty much the same. They are, everything I, I see, look in here, it, they do look to be about the same. Let's see how they line up with bolt holes. See if I can show you. That hole's lined up, and that hole's lined up. Everything inside looks to be the same. Yeah, this one is two. What do we got here? So the factory one, factory from Home Light, we got this plastic piece here. The aftermarket one, it's rubber. Now let's see if the aftermarket one will go into the factory. So the aftermarket rubber inside the factory one. So it went right in. Went right in, no problems. Now, let's put these reeds back in place. And since we know this is too big, it's definitely deeper, let's put the factory one on. There it is. So you want right together. I can tell you there is a difference there. I did just find a difference. All right. I didn't notice this before. Let's pull this back apart. This rubber one. This ha is indent for the, the rubber one to fit up nice and flush. So I think the plastic one would rest on the outside. And that's neat. So the factory one will not fit in the aftermarket block. It's not cut out for it. The aftermarket's just a little bigger on the outsides. So let's stick it back on. So this is everything. Everything here is factory. Let's stick it on the, af the aftermarket reed. See what happens. It does go together. It's snug. It's a little snug. But it does go together. It's it's definitely real snug getting together. Might be a little too snug. So let me see if I can get it apart here. It does feel a little too snug. I think it fit better with the rubber one. I just, I liked that fit more. There's something definitely different. Maybe I could use that rubber one. I like the way it fits better. I like the way that rubber one fits better. It's snug, 
but not too snug. The other one just felt too snug. So there it is. I think that's the way I'm going to go with an aftermarket set of reeds for a Homelite Super XL Auto. All I got to do now is put it on and test it. But I thought some other people might like this information. I did find somebody who makes an aftermarket cage that we could replace our reeds because it's common to find this issue where they're broken. And this material, I mean, if that gets into the motor, that's a lot better than having metal get through the motor, if you know what I mean. I like that they're, they're a little bit bigger too. They just, they cover the opening just a little better. But I'm going to try that. It was, I think, 20 bucks till I got it shipped here. So it wasn't bad, but I had to wait weeks. I mean weeks. They were out of stock. So, there you go. So I'm going to test it for a while and see how it does. Again, this, this cage is out of a Super XL Auto, so with the, the parts of both put together. So the factory one, these are the two factory parts I'm not using, or three. This is, this is the only thing I'm not using from the new one. And I'm sure this could be modified. You could, you could uh, take it to a saw of some sort and make it smaller or a sander or anything. I mean, you could make this work. You could just take it to a, a nice sander here and just make it a little thinner and until you're at the right size. I mean, you can see it's not that bad, the thickness. So that's all you'd have to do to make this work. And oh, and the, uh, the relief there for the bolt, you probably have to take a Dremel to it and just take a little notch out to get it to work. You know, see that? But you could you could easily take a Dremel. I mean, there's there's some bits. I mean, you you could easily find a bit there that would take that out. You know what I mean? I doubt it would take much effort. I will say, this aftermarket one will not go on this one at all. It's not meant for it. There's something different there that it won't allow it. But I can get it to work this way. Alrighty, so... For those saw builders out there, there you go. There's an alternative, possible alternative to replacing the reeds to an aftermarket setup for the Homelite Super XL Auto. Alrighty.